Monskull Pasaga? Shazzle on a brap! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Carly and we are on episode 5 of Growing Together. I'd like to introduce you all to Willow Falls. This is the new addition to the family and Don and Cyrus's third child and second child together. So if you guys would have seen from the intro, we did give birth to Willow and they actually gave birth from home. So what happened first was during the day, we actually celebrated Noelle's birthday and we celebrated it at a public pool had a little pool party with friends and family and she did age up into a child which i will show you guys her later and then later that night dawn actually went into labor and she was actually so far in that she couldn't even go to the hospital and she had to actually give birth from home it was stressful at first but it ended up being really sweet you know her parents came over and everyone was there for the birth of willow cyrus really helped her push through with the birth and we did call our midwife to come over as well. And Dawn has never done a home birth like that with no epidural, but she did amazingly. And our beautiful baby was born. So Willow was actually born a day after Noelle's birthday. So it is the end of summer and Daisy actually moved out already. She's decided to move back in with her parents, but from there she will actually probably be moving into San Maishuno. But yeah, she has left our household, but that's fine. We'll definitely still see her time to time. Another thing I wanted to mention before I get into the gameplay is that I will be hosting a birthday giveaway. So if you'd like to know the details to enter that giveaway, check the description down below. I will be giving away one Home Chef Hustle Pack. I am also going to be doing another giveaway for 5k subscribers because we are so close. So when I hit that, I will be hosting another giveaway and giving away an expansion pack of your choice. So yeah, read the details below if you want to win a Home Chef Hustle pack. And that being said, let's get straight into the gameplay. So it is 6.40 a.m. on a Friday, and Dawn was just down here in the empty guest bedroom now that Daisy is not here anymore. But she did just come down here to play with Willow for a bit because she didn't want to wake Cyrus up since he needs all the sleep he can get before he has to go to work. And let's just check what time Cyrus is working today. So he has work in three hours. We really need to get started on getting him a promotion, guys. I definitely need to work on that. Maybe off camera, I'll try to solve two cases. I just find this detective career so hard, but it's like so interesting. Like I actually really want to try and get into it. But anyway, um, I will just stop this pose for these two, of course. Oh no, she's missing. <laughs> so I am just going to get Dawn to make some breakfast. Cyrus did wake up as well. So I'm going to get her to make some waffles for everyone with the new waffle maker from the Home Chef Hustle Pack. And let's see what she can make. I think, yeah, she's literally level 10, so she can make a lot of things. Let's make everyone some banana split waffles because that sounds really good. Just put Willow down there. And oh my goodness, guys, please tell me, do your sims keep cross-stitching? Because it is literally like a bug in my game. I truly think it's a bug because all my sims are obsessed with cross-stitching and I don't know where they're getting all these hoops from. It's horrible. Like, they literally won't stop cross-stitching. I'm gonna get Cyrus to make himself a coffee.
please stop cross stitching Cyrus. Wait. Oh my god, Noelle literally needs to wake up. She literally is missing school. Okay, I'm gonna collect waffles. Oh. I can't. I'm deleting this. Okay, guys, so we have made the waffles, and Noelle is going to pack into a sack lunch for school. She's gonna have breakfast for lunch. This is what Noelle looks like, guys. She's a child. She's not a toddler anymore. She doesn't have her chubby little baby face. Oh my goodness. Also, she just looks exactly like Tommy. Like, it's crazy. She literally looks like the female version of the Falls twins. Like, she looks exactly like him. Dawn's like, wow. He really had to steal up all the genetics, huh? But anyway, she is going to pack that into her sack lunch. Look at her with her sack lunch. That is cute. Let's put that into her inventory. Guys, look at her Chanel bag. She's so bougie. They spoil her too much. But anyway, she is in her uniform because she goes to a private school. Okay, so she's going to go off to school now because she's literally already running late. Okay, so Noelle is now at school. I hope the principal doesn't yell at her, but we're going to get her to make some friends. Aw, Dawn is just breastfeeding right now. Gadna. Look at Willow's cute pajamas. Um, let's have Cyrus grab his drink. Oh, what is it with my sims and them not going to work straight away? Oh my goodness, you need to grab your cup of coffee and go. My sims are just not following their schedule, is that like a bug? I thought they just like autonomously got up to do these things. Okay, yeah, this is like really cute guys, but he needs to like actually go to work. This would be so sweet if Cyrus wasn't, like, two hours late for work right now. There he goes. Bye, Cyrus. Also, Willow is the baby who actually looks like Dawn, guys. Although you can't tell because Dawn has her hair dyed brown. Willow looks a lot like what Dawn looked like as a baby. And she has her eyes and her facial features just look a lot like Dawn. Whereas Kingston looks a lot like Cyrus. And we all know Noelle is, like, the spitting image of Tommy. But she's so cute, guys. Wait, let's check on her needs. Oh, they're pretty full. How's Kingston going? Oh, he's got full needs. He is still asleep. Wow, okay. Let's call Honey to eat as well. And then let's probably do some tummy time. I want a lot of this episode, though, to focus on some activities with Noelle as a child. Since we already did do a lot of infant and toddler gameplay in the previous episodes. So there's a few things I want them to do with Noelle. I want Noelle and Cyrus to start building their treehouse together. And if you guys saw in the intro, Noelle also received a bike for her birthday. And that was from her grandparents. So we want to start teaching Noelle how to ride her bike. And Noelle actually also does ballet on the weekends, which is super cute. Noelle's room looks pretty similar. We did just update it a little bit. Like, of course, we had to change the bed. We removed her old closet and we have a little desk for her now. And she also got this violin from the Jacobsons as well. So Noelle might start learning how to play that. Oh, she made some crafts. Wait, did she make some crafts? Oh my god, I think Noelle was like making some crafts here. And we've just moved her couch over here as well. Oh, Kingston's awake now. Where is he? Oh, he's in the room. Oh, I think he wants to say hi to Willow. Oh my god. She's like holding Kingston up so he can look at Willow. Okay, now she's taking her away. Let's actually put Kingston down in his high chair so we can feed him breakfast. I feel like it's so quiet at home. Noelle's out of the house. Dawn's just with her kids. It feels so quiet now. Let's give Kingston... What are we going to give him? Let's give him some jam and marmalade toast. We also have to eventually get Willow to be able to sit up so that she can sit in the high chair. Rosemary's calling. Hi, honey. It's mom. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your dear mommy you love her, can't you? You know what? Why don't we ask her to come over right now? Dawn has a pretty free house. Rosemary can come and see the kids. It'll be pretty nice. Okay, she said, well, sure. If you've got nothing else happening, I'll pop on by. I'll see you in a few. Oh, and Willow unlocked the rollover to back milestone. Nice. We also have to take Honey on a walk, guys. I don't know if kids can do it, but if kids can't, 
take their dogs on a walk. I'm pretty sure there's a mod by Little Miss Sam where they can. So I'm definitely going to download that mod so that Noelle can take Honey out for walks. They do live in a pretty safe neighborhood. Okay, that's so annoying. I forgot to press disable pickup, so she put Kingston down and now he's just eating on the couch, which is okay. And I accidentally got an extra serving, so I'll probably just put that in the fridge. Okay, Kingston's done eating now. Ask for a bath. Oh, he wants a bath. Okay. All right, we're gonna give him a bath. Oh, Rosemary's here. Oh, okay, we'll ask for a bath for Grandma then. Ask Grandma for a bath because Don just walked away. Bath time. Come on, Kingston. Okay, Kingston's talking to his grandma. Talk to Grandma Rosemary. Pick up. And then let's ask her oh. to help him take a bath. Oh, wait, let's look at his traits. He loves to be carried, he loves water, hates wake up time, and he's fussy. And also, Willow is wiggly. She's a feeding tinkler, early riser, and frequently hiccups. Oh my god, when did Noelle get home? What? It's, it's already 5? It's already 5 p.m. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize. Noelle has just taken a bath. Honey, why don't you, like, put on some clothes, girl? What is Dawn eating Kingston's baby food? Noelle says to Dawn, I got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful. I said it was Arcticorn. Arcticorn? Arcticom? But he kept saying Swinter. Which one is it? She's gonna say both are equally powerful. Conflict resolution increases, emotional control decreases. Oh my god, I can't believe Dawn's just eating his baby food. Let's talk to Dawn. Let's tell her a goofy story about something that happened at school. She's so grown up. Oh my god. I like to say she's around 10 years old right now. Okay, I'm gonna get Noelle to change. Let's change into some home clothes. Oh, Rosemary's going home already. So she just kind of came over, gave Kingston a bath, and went home. At least she helped out. Oh, he's on his... He got his little swing set. And he reached movement level 5 already. Oh my god. Let's look at a book. Squares and you. Kingston's so independent. Okay, how are Cyrus's needs? Okay, Cyrus is also home. Oh my god, Noelle was so excited to see Cyrus. That's so cute. Apologize for what? Oh, oh she came boy. to greet him because he's home from work. I love their relationships. Oh my goodness. He has low bladder though, so I'm going to get him to go to the toilet. Oh, she wants to play with him. She's like, when are we going to start building our tree house? I'll get him to use a toilet and then they can start building the tree house. But first... While he does that, she'll work on her homework. So I'm gonna get her to do some homework at the dining table. Oh my god, Dawn, you've been in your pajamas like all day. How's Willow's needs going? Willow is hungry. Alright, let's feed Willow. I just want to do so much gameplay in this episode. Let's see. Breastfeed. Okay, so Dawn is going to breastfeed Willow. And Noelle is doing her homework. What a good girl. Wait, before she finishes it, let's see if we can help her. Help with homework. <gasps> Cyrus is cross-stitching again. Tell me where he got the cross-stitch. I literally deleted the cross-stitch. Oh, Cyrus is helping her. He's like, I'm going to help you finish quicker so that we can start building the treehouse. It's getting dark though. I don't know if they're going to be able to build it. There's still some sunlight. Is she nearly finished? Oh, she's just past halfway. Come on, Cyrus, help her finish up. Also, with Cyrus's aspiration, he wants to be a super parent, so he just needs to discipline his child, teen, or toddler five times, which we've literally done none at all. He really needs to start playing bad cop. He's been good cop for too long. Let's do some tummy time with Willow. Oh, we'll just put Willow down here. 
Maybe we'll get Kingston to interact with her. Oh, Kingston's gonna go play basketball, toddler basketball. Okay, guys, she has finished. How dark is it? Okay, it's not horribly dark. So let's start to work on it together. Build treehouse. And Noelle's had to change out of her pajamas real quick. Oh no, the moon's out already. It's okay, they can continue the next day. We'll just get it at least started. Oh no, she can't because of the doghouse. Let's try to move it. Okay, now let's join the building. Surely. Okay, now she can. I had to delete their bush. I had to move honey's home. It's so dark. It's a bit dangerous to be working on this at night. She acquired the mental skill. Look at them joking around. I feel like she's gonna have so much attitude. Like, she is like her father. She really is. But hopefully not completely. What are you doing now? She's just so attached to Willow. Oh look, she just scooted over. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, she loves her. Dawn and Willow are so cute. You guys haven't even completely seen like Willow's hair. Willow has black hair, of course, because they all have black hair. But she's been in like this onesie the whole time, so you can't really fully see her. But it's all right. We'll show you guys her tomorrow. Oh my god, Kingston wants to join in, guys. He wants to play baseball with Cyrus. <gasps> he just wants to do like the typical dad and son bonding. That is so cute. I can't wait for him to age up as well. He has six days till he ages up into a child. How's Don going with her cooking? It's that realistic looking asparagus again. She has been in her pajamas all day. The mom life is hard work, guys. Oh my lord. That is disgusting. Uh-oh, I was crying. Oh, she's asleep. That's okay. That's good. Just making the dough. She probably could have made something faster for dinner because it's already 11.55 a.m. Okay, so... Noelle has done pretty good. She's already gotten one skill to level two, finished her homework, so let's improve so let's improve her performance at school because currently it's at okay. We want to get her to an A student, guys. She's currently a C student. I also forgot to mention her aspiration, guys. She is a slumber party animal. So this sim wants to be the life of the party in a uniquely creative way. Okay, guys, I think the lasagna is officially done. Let's get these two to stop what they're doing. And let's get Dawn to call everyone to meal. These two are sat down now eating their lasagna. And Noelle's come to join them. It couldn't be more perfect. Okay, let's ask her how school was today. Ask about day. And let's get Cyrus to talk to her as well. Debate game strategy. Let's tell her a dramatic story about something that happened at work. Dag -dag. This is so sweet. Hmm. Uh, Kingston fell asleep. Oh my god, he, he tucked himself into bed. Oh, I feel so bad. It's so hard to focus on all the kids. But it looks like he wasn't hungry. Yeah, it looks like he wasn't that hungry anyways. I love it. These three are just bonding. Everyone else is finished. Noelle's still eating. Okay, she's done. Okay, wait. Let's see if she autonomously puts away her dishes. Good on her. Okay, let's put the lasagna in the fridge. Can she clean this? Okay, she can't clean that. She's so tired. I'm gonna let her go to bed. And we'll get Cyrus to clean this up for Dawn. Cyrus is just cleaning up the counter. Okay, all done. 
Also, we currently just have Willow's crib over here in their room. We did remove the TV temporarily. So we just have it here until Willow grows up a bit. And then eventually when they're both like older, Willow and Noelle are most likely going to share the same room. Okay, Cyrus is putting Willow to bed. Soothe to sleep. And then kiss goodnight. Goodnight, vibe, new boo. Take it then. <laughs> oh no, she's crying. Give her a kiss. She's so cute. Noelle has a loose tooth. She should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process. Or Noelle can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. Oh my goodness, she has to tell her parents that. Oh, she's so short, you can't even see her reflection in the mirror. Oh, there you go. Her responsibility went up. Let's talk to Kingston. Hug lovingly. Quirk revealed he's an early riser. I think we already knew that. Make funny faces. Oh, I wish you could change his diaper. Talk about sibling. They're so cute. They all look the same. Mm. Let's get her to clean this up. Then I think I'm going to get her to write in her journal. Oh, Noelle's on her desk writing. Oh, why can't you see it? Oh, it must be the CC table glitching. You can't even see her journal. Oh, no, it's all the way over there. That's such a glitch. What the heck? What is with my game? Why is it glitching? I swear it's always this. Do you see that? It's always the save file. Noelle's going to hide her journal under her bed. She's already being so secretive. And she wants to have some fun. Does this count as fun? Oh, she can make a friendship bracelet. She'll make a friendship bracelet. She's gonna make one for her friend Milo. Gray, blue, and white diamond pattern. Pastel orange, rainbow. Let's do this one. Pastel orange, blue, and white diagonal stripes. She's gonna make this for her friend Milo Silva. With a lazy animation. What well, time to start? Time to start, start work. I've got 16 minutes. I'm gonna wake him up now. He can just go to work. Hopefully, he goes autonomously. Oh no, she needs to be fed. Okay, let's get Cyrus to feed her. Oh, he's in his briefs. We'll get Cyrus to feed Willow before he goes to work. Feed and we'll bottle feed. Oh, Cyrus is just feeding Willow real quick and then he's gonna go off to work. Yes. Right now I'm getting Noelle to work on that friendship bracelet again because this did not turn out well. Because Cyrus is at work, they can't work on the treehouse today. Speaking of, I'll just have him work hard. So they're probably gonna work on the treehouse tomorrow. <gasps> she did it guys! She made it! Okay. Um, so what I want Noelle to do is she's gonna take Honey for a walk and then she's gonna invite her friend Milo over. So we're just gonna spend some time with Noelle today since she's not at school and we can actually have some gameplay with her. Where's Dawn at? She's downstairs. I'm gonna have her change Willow out her pajamas that she's literally been in since yesterday. So let's wake her up and we'll change her diaper as well and change her outfit. And then I'm gonna get Dawn to put her downstairs in her usual spot over here so that Dawn can just kind of work around the house and have Willow close by. And Kingston, our independent baby, is apparently going to go and play basketball on his own. Oh my goodness, he's such a big boy already. Oh, you're going to go downstairs to view the painting. All right, where is Honey? Let's have Noelle take Honey for a walk. Go on a walk. Let's go on a short walk. Okay, so Noelle's changed and she's come outside to leash up Honey. And these two are going to go off for their walk and just bond. 
because Noelle loves Honey and she's really close with him. He's always guarded her since she was a baby. And Kingston's gonna go play basketball with his stinky diaper. Aww. Roll over to Tummy Milestone Unlocked. Where is she? Oh my god, guys. Willow was able to roll over to her tummy. Let's... Mm, let's play with her. And then... Let's see. Probably do another one. Tummy time together. And... That is a closer look at what she looks like without the hoodie, guys. So she looks a lot like Dawn when Dawn was younger. Oh my god, look at her. She is just so precious. She is such a cute baby. She's so cute. Oh my god, guys, look. Noelle is literally just walking honey. She's so grown up. She's still a child, but like... Oh my god, she's so independent. I can't believe she went from being this toddler that was wobbling around the house to walking honey on her own. You need to look to the left and right when you cross hun. <gasps> I can't. I love her so much. And look at her cute little outfit. Oh my god. Her and honey are just best friends. I'm gonna have Dawn change her outfit. But... She is feeling tense from stinky diaper and feeling insecure for the, from the jealous trait. Also, let's do the laundry. Oh, she is just so busy at home. Oh my god. When Daisy's not around, it is actually like really busy. Wow, she really did help out a lot. Also, we have Willow's birth certificate here. And it says she was born 20.8 inches and 7 pounds. Um, we don't use pounds in Australia, so... I can't remember what that is in kilos, but we also have this Willow's baby print. So I'm just going to put that on the wall here and I'll probably place it somewhere better next time. We also have this ultrasound. I don't know if Dawn's going to frame them or just keep them in the family files, but I'll put that somewhere later. I don't know where. Maybe we'll put it... Maybe we'll just put it here for now. Like... Yeah, maybe we'll just put it here for now, like above her crib. I think that's cute. Matches the carpet. Okay, Dawn, how are your kids going? Willow needs to catch up on sleep. Guys, Dawn is getting stressed out from mother life. Okay, so something I also want to do is get Dawn to make some more mom friends because she needs some gal pals to just unwind with whenever she gets a break from taking care of the kids herself at home while Cyrus is out at work. Unfortunately, Cyrus is out at work a lot, but Dawn is perfectly fine with that. But maybe she can get some time to do some writing. Um, yeah, let's do some writing. Write genre book. We're gonna write... What are we gonna write? We're gonna write a children's book. She's feeling very inspired since she has a new infant. Where's Noelle? Oh, guys! Look at Noelle! Oh! Look, it's Milo's dad! Guys, by the way, this is Milo's dad. Maybe we can introduce ourselves to Milo's dad. Oh my god! Wait! Does Milo's dog like honey? Oh, just ignore ignore that. This is Carlos Silva, by the way, guys. And he lives with Milo and Milo's mom in this townhouse in San Sequoia. But we will introduce them to you guys later on because Dawn will definitely make friends with them. She's like, I'm so excited to hang out with Milo later. When are you going to drop him off? And he's like, I'll be dropping him off after our walk. So you'll get to see him soon. Okay, I think Noelle is going to go walk home now. Meanwhile, Dawn is finally able to get some writing in. She hasn't been able to do it for the past few months, but she's finally fitting in some time. And we still need to write five good books. We have two more to go. For reference, if you guys didn't watch A New Dawn, this is Dawn with her old black hair. Also, if her facial features look a little bit different, it's because Dawn has literally had, like, I don't, like 10 makeovers. I definitely refreshed her because I feel like she didn't, she started to not look like what I wanted her to look like originally. But yeah, fun fact, Dawn has gone through, like, honestly, 10 makeovers. 
if that wasn't obvious already. But since growing together, I haven't really edited her face or anything like that. Also, Tommy is calling to chat with Cyrus. Guys, look, Noelle and Cyrus pretty much arrived home at the same time. How is Cyrus's needs going? He just needs to get his fun out, but he needs to pick up his poop. And let's invite our friend over. Our bestie. And we can give him our friendship bracelet. Where did she get this phone from? But you know what? Kids these days do have iPhones. Oh my god. Oh, Kingston. Oh, these two are just... <gasps> Stop. The way that they're literally sitting right under their portraits. Oh, guys. Look at them. That was literally just them before they aged up. That is so funny. That's so cute. Oh, I love this shot. That is just... That is just so perfect. Okay, I think I heard Milo doorbell, guys. And he looks like he's just gonna make his way in. Let's go talk about toys with him. Oh, they're so cute. Where are you guys going? You guys had to walk through the bathroom. Where are you guys gonna go? You guys gonna go in here and bother Dawn? Oh, maybe Milo's like, hi, Miss Torres. Yeah, he's talking to her. What a cartoon character. Oh, Milo's saying hi to Kingston. Funny introduction. Oh my god, I love Noelle and her best friend. This is so cute. Oh, they get along, guys. I got a confidence boost from their interaction. I'm gonna get Noelle and Milo to go swimming together. He came over to use their pool. Guys, it's such a shame that the treehouse isn't built. They could have been playing there together. But that's why she's excited to work on it tomorrow so she can invite her friends over. If you guys don't remember, Milo was one of the toddlers in the preschool and the first friend that Noelle made. Oh my gosh, you got her sunnies on and everything. Dawn's gonna be that friend hosting all the parties when she's a teenager because she has a nice pool in the big house. Also guys, Noelle's uncomfortable from her loose tooth so we will try and pull that out tonight. I'm gonna get Milo to splash her. Oh, he can say you are my favorite? Did you see that? Just splash him back. Let's scare him. Babble Milestone unlocked the willow. Okay, it's getting dark, so they should go back inside. Alright, it's dark, so I'm gonna get them to sit and chat here. And his parents are gonna pick him up soon because it has gotten pretty late. He literally just came over to use the pool for like hours. Alright, these two are gonna sit down and I'm gonna get Noelle to give him a friendship bracelet. Okay, so Noelle's giving him her friendship bracelet, and I hope he likes it. Okay, apparently they had to get up to do it. Oh my god, cute! They're besties. Oh, wait, she has one! I didn't know she'd have one, because I didn't... I guess he had one as well. Oh my god, wait. Stop. Guys, look at their bracelets. That is so cute. It looks like Milo's parents are here to pick him up, so he's gonna go home now. What is Noelle doing? She's grabbing some dinner. Oh, she has her friendship bracelet from Milo. So it says here, Noelle and Milo exchanged friendship bracelets. Together, they'll experience a one-of-a-kind bond that only the magic of friendship within these bracelets can provide. That is so sweet. Oh my god, Noelle lost her loose tooth. She can wait a while for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix missing tooth. Wait, what? Cute! She lost her tooth! Oh no! Did she lose it and we can't even place it underneath? Oh, guys. I don't think we'll... Oh wait! We have a tooth fairy certificate, but we didn't get to place it under our pillow. Placed- Oh, we can! Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited! But I'm gonna get Noelle to place the tooth under her bed. I thought she lost it. I was scared for a second there. 
But if you guys saw, she has a little gap tooth now. It's so cute. Oh, everyone's asleep. Oh my god. You guys just left Willow down here by herself. Oh, honey's uncomfortable. Why? Are you hungry? Okay, it's time to head to bed. If you're lucky, when you wake up, you'll have a nice surprise from the Tooth Fairy waiting for you in your inventory. Oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. I missed the whole interaction of her placing it under the bed. But hopefully, when she goes to sleep, we will see. Okay, which she's gonna do now. Okay guys, it's 5 a.m. the next day and Cyrus is walking around picking up all the laundry piles and just cleaning up the house. Also, Willow got the sit-up milestone. What? She is accelerating. Um, She was literally sleeping here alone all night and she did tummy time on her own or practice sitting up on her own. That's crazy. Not the best of them to just forget her down here, but what an independent girl. She is so advanced. She's literally been getting all these milestones and I'm not even doing anything. Like, I'm barely, like, getting Dawn to do tummy time or anything like that. Guys, honey's sleeping with Dawn. Dawn, who's been in her PJs the whole time. <laughs> oh my god, Cyrus, you are amazing. He's literally going around the whole house cleaning up. <gasps> it's fall, guys. It's fall in the Falls family. Let's play. This is their season, okay? Guys, fall is their season. We started this whole legacy in- Oh my god, she unlocked the creep milestone. Where is this coming from? What? Are you like glitched? How are you doing this all on your own? Wow, she is like a genius baby. You know what? I already imagined that Willow was gonna be like the dorky one. Like the cute, dorky, really smart one. Oh my god, I completely forgot to look at Noelle when she woke up. Like, I didn't get to see any animation, but it says here, you lost a practice tooth. Remember to take care of your real ones. Oh, that's such a cute thing to say. Oh, we got another Tooth Fairy poster, so we'll just put that up as well. I'm sorry, guys, I keep missing the animations. I don't know if there's any animations for that, but I missed it if there is. Oh, what's Noelle's mood lit? She is feeling confident from losing a tooth. Oh, and she's feeling a close connection. That would have been from Milo. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, but Cyrus is starting to burn out again. He's always burning out. He's literally working so hard. I have a few things planned for him. So, he is currently a senior detective. I really need to get him promoted. Hopefully by next episode, he's got his promotion. I want him to get to chief of police, which is what his dad did. Thomas Falls, rest in peace. Um, yes, Thomas, that is Tommy Falls' real name as well. So Tommy is technically Thomas Jr., Anyway, Cyrus really wants to take after his dad and become chief of police. So I want him to get to the top of this police or detective career and become the chief. And after that, I'm thinking he follows his mom's footsteps side. His not, not his mom, but his mom's side. Because he actually comes from a long line of senators from his mom's side. So I think after he achieves his goal of becoming the chief of police, I think we're going to get him onto the politician path. So I'm excited for that. That's not going to happen for a while, obviously, because Cyrus still needs to work his way up there. But yeah, another thing. Be oh my god, they're talking outside. They're just being cute. <gasps> He's just like talking about some drama that happened at school. Oh, Noelle's telling him a secret. What? Looks like she's telling him like about a crush or something. Who could that crush be, guys? The only guy she's been talking to. <laughs> anyway, another thing I wanted to mention, since it is fall now, I have some really excited things planned for Noelle and her school gameplay. Um, so what we're going to do is, next episode, Noelle's school is actually hosting a fall bake sale. So we will be doing that, and I'm really excited. Dawn and a few of the moms and dads are going to be going to the school and then they're going to be putting up their own stalls and selling their big goods and raising money for a charity. So I'm really excited to do that in the next episode and we'll probably be using the stall from the Home Chef Hustle Pack. And that's going to be so fun. I can't wait to do that. Maybe I'll make it like a family thing. Or maybe I'll just make it like Noelle and Dawn selling the goods. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. Oh my goodness, there's laundry all the way out here. What is happening? This house is a mess. Okay, I can't even put in the laundry. It's 9.07 a.m., so I'll get them to start working on their treehouse soon. Look at these three. The girls in the house. I love it. Let's sit and chat here. With Willow's stinky diaper. 
So another thing I want to get Noelle into is ballet. If you guys remember, Noelle had another friend, Kate, from the preschool. And Kate's mom is actually opening up a ballet studio. So I think Dawn is going to take Noelle for a private lesson with Kate and her mom. And they're going to go to the studio, check it out, and see if Noelle would be interested to actually start ballet lessons regularly. So I'm really excited to get Noelle into that. Kingston is so dirty that his black hair looks brown. That's crazy. Wait, I forgot that Willow can literally sit here now. What are you crying about? Let's help Willow try her first baby food. So we're going to do pumpkin puree because it is fall. Oh my god, the house is a mess. Cyrus is still cleaning. Oh my god. And he has to pee. Let's see if she likes pumpkin puree. Let's see if she's a fall baby. Oh, she likes it. Yay, Willow liked pumpkin puree. Of course she did. I'll get Dawn to do the laundry. And then I'm gonna get... Oh. Wow, it is just a busy household, huh? I did not realize how full on this was gonna be, but it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. I think I'm gonna let... I'm sorry, but I'm gonna let Dawn take care of Kingston because Cyrus and Noelle need to start building their treehouse. So I'm gonna get them changed and I'll get them to start working on their treehouse. Continue building that. <gasps> oh my god, guys. Noelle's made a mess. Also, ignore the fact that she just changed into her uniform. I am definitely taking advantage of this and I'm gonna get Cyrus to scold her because he needs to discipline his child. Discipline recent behavior. What are we gonna do? Let's just do firm. Express disappointment for making a mess. He's scolding her, guys. Look at him with a hand on the hip. Alright, he's gonna go toilet real quick. And then they're gonna continue building this. Hopefully the rain lets up soon so they can continue. Oh no, Willow's fallen asleep with a stinky diaper in her high chair. And Dawn's like, I just need a damn break. I need a damn break. Let's get her a glass of wine because she needs it. She doesn't care if it stays home. Dawn is like, man, this three kid thing is hard. Juice is Dawn's middle name. Dawn Juice Torres to be exact. Should she own up to this talent and welcome that she likes Miss Mixology. Oh my god. Okay, sure. Go off. I wasn't expecting you to like Mixology. She's sitting like far away from Willow because <laughs> she just needs a break. Ooh, I'm bored. All right, these two are finally working on the treehouse again. This is so cute. I wish all the kids can work on this, but they're still toddlers. Come on, Noelle, you got this. What are you gonna do? She's just looking around. <laughs> Is she gonna do anything? Oh my god! Wait, that was so fast. It's already built! I feel like we put in like five seconds of work into it. I didn't know they were that far in. What? Treehouse entry and exit. Wait, let's add like an upgrade. Let's add a slide to it, at least. Let's see. Noelle's gonna set the decorations while he does that. What would she do? Space, island, castaway, pirate, hideout, or fairy tale? I feel like she might do a pirate hideout. Cute. Wait, actually, let's just look through them. That's cute as well. Cute. All right. And what was the last one? Space Explorer. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll do space, something different. Because I feel like they'd like to pretend they're like astronauts in there. And like just look up at the stars from there. So I feel like that would be cute. And oh, guys, she's playing with Kingston in the pool. 
All right, so I quickly just went and made a kids club for Noelle and her besties. We're gonna add more people to it later, but if you guys can think of space themed names for the kids club, please comment it down below. I just have it as kids club for now because I don't know what to call it. And right now we have their activities as do homework, look for frogs together, prank, eat popcorn, and play in the playground equipment, but that might change. We haven't got anything yet for band activities, but we should definitely think of some later. And it looks like Milo's here. He's gonna come in already. And I think Kate's already inside. Oh, first blowout milestone. Okay, guys, Willow's literally just like breezing through these milestones. Where's Dawn? Ugh, Dawn has so much mess to clean up. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is too much. We're hiring a maid. We're getting a maid. Okay, that's enough. We need to get a maid because this is way too much. Let's see, hire a service. And let's get a scheduled maid. It's around 4 p.m. So they'll come around 4.30 every day. So that's not bad. All right. She's like, I've had enough. Please help me out. My kid is dirty and crying. And I just don't have time to clean the house right now. Oh no, the maid's gonna arrive at 10.05 a.m. tomorrow. Wait, I see Rosemary outside. Guys, Grandma Rosemary's here. Let's control her because I need her to help out with taking care of the kids right now. Hi, yes, come in. Take care of the kids for me. Do laundry. Oh, she can't do it. Let's fill up Honey's food bowl. Get her to fill all the pet bowls. Where's Noelle and her friends? Oh, guys, they're in the swings together. <gasps> guys, this is her friend, Kate Moyer. Oh my god, she's lost a tooth as well. They're playing on the swings together. Guys, how cute is their treehouse? It's huge. It's just a full-on house up in the trees. Well, that's a treehouse, but this is just not your average treehouse, guys. This is crazy. Imagine having something like this growing up. Kate's joining them. Oh, guys, the slide is made. Let's have her slide down treehouse slide. These two are playing Space Explorers. Look at them. Toe and mouth milestone unlocked. Oh my god, I didn't even know they could get these many milestones in one day. Okay guys, Kate's gonna use the slide. Yay, she used the slide. That is so fun. We're definitely gonna keep upgrading the treehouse, of course. We definitely need a telescope as well for the space theme. Let's tell him a goofy story. Become partners in crime. That is cute. Guys, look, they're partners in crime now. They gotta do some pranks together. They can now plan pranks and unleash their inner mischief. Oh, guys, it started raining. The house is crazy! The Falls family household is... It's losing it, guys. It is stressful. I am feeling the stress. Oh, my God. Lord, Lord, Lord. Let's get her to pick up all the clothing piles. She's like, I know the maid's coming, but I at least need to do the laundry. Oh, the diaper. And Willow is just... <laughs> Willow's still stinking. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to give her some food. Let's give her some ice cream. And then we're gonna wash her. I was just focusing a lot on the well that... Their needs deteriorated literally so fast. So we're gonna give her a bath after we feed her. Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh, I didn't read it. How exciting. Willow loved ice cream. It's always nice to discover a new favorite taste and texture. I am going to end the club gathering so the kids can go home. It's already 9 o'clock. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kingston. We haven't been playing with him that much, guys. Oh, he's just such an angel. He's like... Wait, let me check his needs. He's an angel. His needs are good. He's put himself to bed. Oh, man. He's wet himself, apparently. <laughs> Alright, we're going to add some laundry additive. And then we're going to wash the laundry. Willow is finally clean. Guys, who's a clean baby? 
She's so pretty. She's such a cute baby. Oh my goodness. I can't get over her. She's so cute. Oh, how's she feeling? Feeling energized from the active trait. Oh, I forgot to say that she has high confidence. I didn't know that. And she is an active child. She's finished her homework as well. She's gotten a skill to level two. So she is all ready for school. And this week, we'll also be going to a private ballet lesson. Let's talk about school with her and just say she's excited for school. Okay, so Dawn's just drying the laundry. Noelle has brushed her teeth. I'm gonna get Noelle to change her outfit into her sleeping clothes. I'm gonna get her to locate her journal. And then she's gonna do a little journal entry for the night. I'll probably get Dawn to come in. Oh, she's getting her journal. Cute. And she's gonna get more laundry. And I'm gonna get Noelle to start writing in her journal. Cute. Look at Noelle in her little nightie. Oh my god, why is it glitching like that? I can't have anything. I think it's because of the table. It's all right. My game, my game is just glitching so much. And looks like Dawn's collecting some laundry piles again. Cyrus is going to go watch some TV. How are everyone's needs looking? All right, almost all in the green. We just have Willow. She's hungry again and her bladder is low. Where is she asleep? And she's asleep on the floor with Honey. Oh, or they were both sleeping. Oh, look at Honey, guys. Oh, Noelle's going to become best friends with Dawn. That's cute. Oh, he needs attention. All right, I'll tell Honey to go to the party first. Oh, they're best friends, guys. That's so cute. I can't wait to do things like host sleepovers with friends as well. But because it is a school night, they're not going to host a sleepover. I think next Friday night, we'll get Dawn to host a sleepover for all the kids. I just have so much planned. Like, Noelle needs to do her first ballet lesson. We're gonna do the school fall bake sale for the charity. And we're gonna host a slumber party with all of Noelle's friends. I'm just so excited. And then just even more stuff for when she becomes a teenager, of course. We're gonna just spray the monster under the bed. Noelle hasn't complained about it, but just in case. She's spraying the monster with Windex. And let's put Noelle to bed. Oh, guys. <laughs> and Cyrus is just gonna play with Honey. And everyone is gonna go to bed now. And I'll catch up with you guys the next day. Okay, guys, it's the next day, and Dawn is just serving up some silly gum bear pancakes. Noelle just left for school. And. Something's wrong with Honey. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna have to take him to the vet then. Okay, well, we're gonna take Honey to the vet. I wasn't planning on that, but that's okay. Um, I don't think Cyrus has work today. Yes, yeah, Cyrus doesn't have work, so he can watch the kids. We're just at the next town over, Brindleton Bay. Because this is where Dawn likes to take Honey to the vet. Okay, so we're just gonna check Honey in. Let's sign him in for curing the sickness. Also, look at Dawn's cute little loungewear outfit. This is like her Pilates princess outfit. It's so cute. I wish there was a mod to do like reformer Pilates and Sims. If that isn't already a mod, someone should make it. Okay, we're just gonna wait for the vet. And then we have to get her pet examined and then receive treatment. And I will make Noelle study hard. Okay, guys, the vet is finally ready to check on Honey. We actually waited for like two hours. Or an hour. Oh, our poor boy. Oh, 
And we'll do the expensive treatment, of course. Good boy. Yay! He's feeling better! Give him a pet. And... Give him a kiss. Scratch favorite spot. <laughs> and lastly, I just want to give Honey a treat as well. Because he was such a good boy. Kiba! <laughs> Before we go home, let's get Honey, like, a pet item. I just want to get him, like, a wellness treat. Yeah. I'll get him three wellness treats. Okay, and now we can go home. So it is around 3 p.m. now. Noelle has just come back from school and she's finishing up on some homework. And what we're actually going to do is we'll get Noelle and Dawn ready. And Dawn's going to take her to a private ballet lesson just to see if she likes it. And if she does, she's going to start ballet classes. So Noelle is going to go with her best friend, Kate, who we met yesterday. Oh, Dawn's greeting her. Forza! They're just going to change and drive up to the studio real quick because it's actually really close to their house. Okay guys, we are here at Mrs. Moyer's dance studio. I did get the main body of the build. So I got the foundation of the build from Anna Sims. I'll put the name up on the screen or I'll put it in the description. But she originally made a dance studio, but I didn't have any of the CC. So I did just use the build base. So the exterior looks kind of similar, but the inside I just decorated myself because I didn't want to add any more new CC to my game. But if you would like to check out her lot, because it's a really nice lot as well, if you guys would like to check hers out, out, but I will probably not be uploading this as I did use the base of someone else's build But this is what the reception and front desk looks like It looks like Kate's taking advantage of the business computer and using it to play games And look how pretty it is guys It is so aesthetic and pretty in here I love how it turned out This is Kate and her mom so this is Sophia Moyer, this is Kate's mom, and she's the owner of the dance studio and the ballet teacher. She actually used to be a professional ballet dancer, but she gave up her career when she had Kate. She got married very young actually, and she is a widow. Her husband passed away due to illness, and they were quite a young couple when this all happened. So she, you know, has been through a lot, but she's building her life back up and she's starting with her dream of owning her own dance studio. Let's get Noelle to talk to Kate. It is going to be like a nighttime lesson, so it's okay that it's going late. And look at Noelle's outfit. It's so cute. I'm pretty sure... I don't know if those are just regular, like, shoes or if those are point shoes, but for aesthetic purposes, those are the shoes I'm wearing. I don't know much about ballet. Let's discuss interests. <laughs> and just get to know each other. Okay, so Sophia has just steeped some tea for them. So she's just gonna pour them some tea and just show them around the studio. Let's have Dawn grab some tea. <laughs> so this is also just a introduction to the studio and just kind of touring the place and things like that and just seeing where Noelle would have her lessons. And Dawn is also in love with the studio. She loves how it looks and let's just give her a compliment on it. This is what the main studio looks like. And we have a little seating area here. We have our stereo. And this is what the change rooms and bathrooms look like. So we have individual change rooms in there. And we have the main area. And we have a sink here and two toilets. And as you guys would have seen, this is the reception. I love, I love this area. It's just so pretty. Okay, let's get straight into our ballet lesson. Okay, Kate's just changed and she's starting up at the bar. Noelle looks like she's a bit unsure. She's like, I don't really know what to do. 
How amazing is this mod, honestly? Why is Noelle already dancing on point? <laughs> Ignore the fact that she's acting like she's so advanced already. She's like, yeah, I got this. Maybe it's like naturally in her bones or something, you know? Maybe she's just a natural dancer. But I think Noelle is loving it, honestly. And look how pretty Sophia is. She's just gonna change up the music. She's like, Noelle, you're doing amazingly. You should definitely join. So she's just kind of showing them the basics. Oh my god, she did a pirouette! What? We're gonna turn on some classical music. And let's keep it at... Yeah, it's at medium volume. Let's practice ballet. Let's train ballet with them. I really love this. This is just so cute, guys. I love this studio. I'm so happy with how this studio came out. Like, it's just nice and simple, not cluttered, just very neat and clean. And this studio is inspired by Sophia's old Windenburg studio because that is where she trained for ballet. She did train in Windenburg and that's where she danced professionally. Okay, guys, they're just doing some more ballet. Guys, Noelle is just excelling. She is excelling at this. I wonder what skill this contributes to. Okay, it contributes to their motor skill. Look at Noelle's outfit. She also borrowed this jumper from Kate as well. Look at Kate's outfit. It's like base game except for the shoes. Oh my god, this is just so cute. This has to be my favorite part of the episode. I love the vibes. I love the vibes. She's like, I want to be at the front. I want to be next to Sophia. Uh -huh. I feel like Noelle is loving this. And I think she's realizing that she loves being the spotlight as well. And Donna's just watching them. Let's get her to get another drink of tea. I can't. It is so late, but Noelle doesn't want to leave. Let's just ignore how late it is, guys. You know how Sims timing is. It just goes by really fast. And I haven't tried out using the MC Command Center to slow down time yet. But I might look into that later on. Great music. Noelle seems to be enjoying this song. Should she embrace that she likes classical music? Guys, I think it's meant to be. I think Noelle is meant to be a dancer. Or at least we'll look into it. We'll see how we go as a child. And if she really falls in love with it, we'll definitely continue it into adulthood. And who knows, maybe in the future her career will be as a professional ballet dancer. So I am really excited for that. And I'm really excited for Noelle's storyline when that happens as well. But we're going to say yes, she likes classical music. She just seems to love every aspect of it, honestly. I'm going to have Sophia talk to Noelle and let's give her a compliment and tell her, you know, she uh, has some potential Doba, and that she thinks she should really pursue some lessons. Okay, guys, so it's all confirmed. Noelle is going to be starting ballet lessons from this week and our first official class is going to be on Saturday. So we will continue that into the next episode, of course. But Noelle is very excited and I'm so excited to see if this is something that Noelle pursues into adulthood as well. Like, I think she's really just going to fall in love with it. So Dawn is really excited for her because it's something new and something different. No one in her family has ever really been a dancer, so... It's really cool to see Noelle doing something new. <laughs> so it is the next day, guys, and I'm getting Dawn to play fetch with Honey because we haven't really done anything like that. Noelle's gonna get ready for school. Kingston is feeling really upset. He says he'll cry if I want to from the permissive family dynamic. And Dawn is still in the same outfit. Just ignore that. I haven't given her another workout outfit. Go, honey. He's like, what? What do you want me to do with that? It's already 7.42, Noelle. Let's brush teeth and then we'll change into our outfit. She's feeling uncomfortable from slobby surroundings, from bad surroundings and a loose tooth. Okay, so Noelle's ready for school and she's just walking downstairs now and ready to go. She's already got her packed lunch with her and Mila was actually the one who doorbelled because he did say he was going to walk with her to school today. Look at them in their uniforms. I can't. I just love it. Beautiful round. Guys, look at their uniforms. 
It's so cute. I can't get over it. I love them. I love this kid's gameplay. It's so fun. Guys, Milo is so cute. Dawn's yelling in the background. She's like, can you kids get to school already? You're gonna miss the school bus. Okay, so these two are just making their way to the bus stop. They look like they're just goofing around right now. It seems like Milo's trying to like mess up Noelle's hair or something like that, but they're just having a laugh and I honestly adore their friendship. What do you guys think? I think they're such cute besties. Like, I just love them. Can't wait to see how their friendship dynamic goes in school and just going through childhood together, making memories and seeing them grow into teenagers. I'm really excited to see that and just see Noelle grow up. I loved the different gameplay with Noelle. It was so fun for me and just such a change. And yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.